Well, I speak as a 26-year-old woman, and my problem is that no matter what, Christine O'Donnell is making a mockery of running for public office. She has no real history, no real success in any kind of business. And what that sends to my generation is one day you can just wake up and run for Senate, no matter how lack of experience you have. And it scares me for a lot of reasons, and I just know in my group of friends, it just turns people off because she's seen as a nut job. It was Megan McCain speaking this Sunday. Since then, Christine O'Donnell's campaign has responded. They said, quote, Christine overwhelmingly won her primary battle against the establishment candidate. So Ms. McCain's vast experience in politics and running for office probably won't influence many Delawareans of any age to listen to her latest rant. Um, on the more vicious side uh, was the response from conservative bloggers today. As Media Matters compiled today, much of the conservative bloggers' criticism uh, did not focus on Meghan McCain's stated opinion at all, um, but rather something much more personal and petty. Joining us now for the interview is Meghan McCain, columnist with The Daily Beast and author of Dirty Sexy Politics, her campaign memoir. Meghan, thank you so much for coming back. Yeah, thank you for having me on. Um, let me get your response, first of all, to these conservative bloggers um, who attacked you today. I know a little bit about your response because I saw what you posted um, on Twitter, which I thought was perfectly snarky. <laughs> Thank um, you. But what did, what did you, what do you want to say back to those folks, if anything? Um, you know, I love my job and I love my life and I expect this to sort of happen. Um, two years ago, there's always scandals. I'm over when women may say anything in any kind of public forum. It automatically goes back to what they look like and how much I weigh. I just don't know at what point these people are going to know. It no longer bothers me. But I worry about young women. I got a lot of young women followers, teenagers. I worry about little girls that are reading my column and reading this stuff and what it says to them. It means don't speak out because God forbid my weight is criticized again. And again, it's so old. This is like the oldest thing ever so old <laughs> i feel like it, it, it it's just it's like whoa back in junior high and the reason it's it's never surprising when politics go back to junior high level but what is surprising is that i feel like on the right particularly around sarah palin's candidacy and her continued ascendancy in the party so much of the right's defense of her has said that has been defending her from supposedly sexist attacks on the left. And then to have this sort of brutal, like pure sexist assault on you, whenever you say anything that's critical of conservatives, um, I, I just, I, I find it hard to understand the, I find it hard to like find any coherence there. Um, I see the irony as well that you cannot say sexist comments about Sarah Palin and Christine O'Donnell, but me, it's free game all day, every day. Um, I don't think it's just right-wing bloggers. I think it's left-wing bloggers. I think it's men. I really think it's a lot of men on the Internet with not a lot of time, and they're sitting around talking about my body, and it's really pathetic. But, again, if I couldn't handle this, I wouldn't do it. And it's been happening to me literally since junior high, so I don't care anymore. Do you get... Um defense or people standing up for you in a way that um, surprises you or makes you happy? Or do you feel like you're on your own? Yeah, I mean, coming on this show, I mean, I know a lot of people um, continue to say that they like me coming on this show, and right when people are like, of course you would go on her show, but I appreciate that you're letting me talk, yeah. so it's nice. Well, I'm sorry that that has to be, I'm sorry that that has to be a positive thing and not the baseline. <laughs> um, <laughs> let, let me ask you about the comments about Christine O'Donnell that started mm -hmm. this. Um, and again, you, I did not yeah. wake up in the morning being like, I'm going to start a big fight with Christine O'Donnell today. I had just done a lot of research before I went on this very prestigious Sunday news show, and I got more and more scared the more research I did. Why does she scare you? Because she has little to no qualifications to be a principal, let alone to be a senator. I mean, it's the ethics complaints. It's the bizarre social things that she thinks she has secret information about China that's going to take over the America. In any other context, in any other election, this would be a joke. And originally, people like Karl Rove were against her, but all of a sudden, everybody is just rescinding and now supporting her. And the difference between me and everybody else is I am saying what everybody backstage is saying. And I have the balls to come on television, and I sit, and I take the heat and I take everything that comes because I do not lie. And this is how I feel about this woman. Why isn't anybody else able to do it? Because they're going to lose their funding. They're going to lose their jobs. There's, I mean, the, one of the things that I have admired about the conservative movement over time, even from before I was born, is that there has been an effort to try to sort of defend the honor of the movement sometimes. There's been adults in the movement who said, you know what? If we are going to all be identified as conservatives, I'm not okay with what you are saying about that. And there's been sort of an internal, not policing, but at least some state Standards yeah. uh, within the movement about what counts as who gets who gets to be a spokesperson for the party and who actually ought to be exiled. Yeah, I don't see that happening anymore. 
Um, I, there's a purity test you have to take. I mean, that has been that was put out by the RNC. I don't know anymore. I know that I'm comfortable with who I am as a person and what I speak about politically. There are a lot of people, whether these people like it or not, I do have a following with young people. Yeah. Um, it doesn't mean anything. You know, it could mean nothing to them. But I am not going to stop speaking out just because a whole bunch of people are going to bully me around. Let me ask you just one last question on the O'Donnell issue, and that is that um, after her last debate with Chris Coons, it emerged that she had been uh, prepped for the debate by the same people who prepped Governor Palin when she was in her vice presidential debate on your dad's campaign. I did not know that. <laughs> yeah. Um, and it just, it just made me wonder if there, is, if there is continuity, if you're seeing any continuity between um, Governor Palin's ascendancy in politics and sort of this year's slate of candidates. Is there, is there a line, are there lines to draw, are there dots to connect between what happened with her as a vice presidential running mate for your dad and what's happening now? Um, I think there are other women in Republican politics like Meg Whitman and Carly Fiorina that don't follow this model, but I think what you're seeing are copycats in a very mm -hmm. weird, bizarre way. I wrote about it in my last column, and the media is just obsessed with them. And I understand why. I mean, it gets a lot of play, and the echo chamber starts going. Why? I don't know, but, you know, time will tell. I'm really interested to see what happens in two weeks. Yeah, me mm -hmm. too. Um, can you? I know you have a cold. Do you mind sticking around for a second no, segment? <laughs> One of the things that... Um, we have talked about in the past that I know you're very passionate about is uh, gay rights. Your dad is back in the news on the issue of Don't Ask, Don't Tell. I'd love to have some of your response to that, so if you could stick sure. with us. Great. Sure. Megan McCain, the author of Dirty Sexy Politics, is our guest for the interview tonight. We'll have more with her in just a moment. Please stay with us.